Hello everyone, happy Friday. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, quick disclaimer, my manicure is uh, <laughs> not so good right now. I went to water aerobics this morning for the first time in, well gosh, probably summer of 2019. And um, as you know, if your nail polish is anywhere near chipping and you get into a swimming pool, it's gonna come right off. That's just how it is with me for sure. So time for new nails, I'll have to do that later today. For today's uh, card that we're making, I'm gonna be using a bunch of products from Waffle Flower. And uh, these over here are brand new. This one has been out for a while, but um, I was inspired by this die set, which looks so fun. These circles are the same size and then you can layer them up and you have like a whole cloud rainbow situation. Isn't that so cute? So I'm gonna go ahead and get going on these. We're gonna use this new Label Maker Rainbow stamp set when we get to the greeting. And I'm gonna use um, the additional circles die set um, just because I'm gonna need to cut a circle for the very back of this little doohickey here that I'm planning. And like I mentioned in last week's live with this magnetic, this seriously, it is like the Anna Griffin uh, magnetic plate or shim or whatever it is, is no joke. <laughs> All right, put that right on top. Okay. Oh, talk about cute. Seriously, so adorable. And then you have this little piece that can go over the top. That is gonna be so dang cute. I cannot wait. Okay, we need one more white circle. So I'm gonna use that um, additional circles die set and I'm gonna be uh, just using this size right here. I've already sized it out. It's just slightly smaller than the the circle frame we've got going here. And that's so that I can put it on the back. We're gonna get to some coloring. I kind of anticipating this card's gonna come together really quickly. So I'm gonna keep the clouds white. I know you could color them blue, but instead I'm going to have the very back, kind of the back wall of this whole area that I'm making. It's gonna be blue. I'm gonna do rainbow on top and then I'm gonna have white clouds on top. And they're going to be separated by foam, uh, with foam tape mint blue okay and since i want the whole circle to be that color i'm going to use the chisel end because then i can just start coloring and cover a lot of the surface area all at once all right i'm going over and over and over trying to get as solid as possible oh, that blue is so pretty this could be the perfect blue for our a little sky background. All right, so we have the blue background. The next area I'm coloring is the rainbow. So I'm gonna pick out some rainbow colors. And just because I know I could probably get a little rambunctious with the coloring, I'm gonna slide this in. And then I can kind of go off the edge a little. That is a really bright pink. I might not need to do that. I can be careful. All right, on to Y08, acid yellow. <laughs> okay. I'm using YG05 salad. You could also do this with watercolor paints or colored pencils, anything, you know, that would color these. All right, and the last color is V15 Mallow, or Mallow, I'm not sure. Okay, <gasps> how fun is that? And now we can assemble our little rainbow Thingy. <laughs> I have some foam adhesive here. These are very narrow strips from Darice. So um, let's see, this is gonna go right on top of that. So I'm going to put some foam adhesive on the 
back of my rainbow piece. And I'm gonna do that by taking it off the sheet and then taking off the backer. And then I can manipulate the foam and have it go around the circle perfectly. We just have to get this little guy kind of right on top. There we go. So you're gonna get that shadow underneath. Doesn't that look so great? We're gonna do the same thing with the clouds. We're gonna just put the adhesive on the outer edge. On this the... would definitely make an excellent shaker card. Um, I wanted to keep it pretty simple today and just do kind of like a, almost like a shadow box layered look. When I first saw the dies, that's exactly what I thought of. So that's what's been stuck in my head ever since I saw these dies. I want it to be sort of lined right up on the edge of the rainbow piece because they're the exact same circle size. So I'm not gonna press it down right away because I wanna get it in the right spot. Okay, perfect. Oh my word, that is so stinking cute. Isn't that so cute? It would be amazing to do like, um, you could put the different layers on acetate or window plastic and then trap them inside like a shaker and you could have glitter on in one layer and then you could have little sequins in the other. I think that would be so cute. I don't have time to redo it today, but that's very tempting. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna work on the greeting that's gonna go for this little dude. I'm using a new stamp set from Waffle Flower today called Label Rainbows, or Label Maker Rainbows. And it's a really cool idea. Um, it's been around the crafting industry a little bit. I think Tailored Expressions did something similar um, where you stamp a bunch, they've got a whole line, I believe, um, where you stamp a bunch of greetings and then there's a die that cuts them all out. I'm using a VersaFine Onyx Black ink. This is the most solid black ink and I love it. So that's what I'm using today. And I'm gonna grab one of my Stampin' Bug gliders to help me get a really good impression once I stamp down with this. I think it'd be really fun to use this stamp with like um, rainbow stamping so you get like multiple colors. Okay. Just using my little Stampin' Bug glider to help me get really solid impression. I'm hoping I won't need to double stamp this. I might need to, depending on how juicy my ink pad was. Oh, it doesn't even want to come up, okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get this twice. Some of it's pretty splotchy, you see that? All right, this is why we like our Misty because we can ink that up and stamp it again and get an even better impression. I'm really squishing my ink pad, trying to get lots of ink on there. I've had this same VersaFine ink pad for a couple years now. It's still going strong, but I can tell sometimes it's on its last leg. Okay, let's pray to the misty stamp positioning duck gods that this goes in the same position. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up so I can get an even better solid impression. All right, here we go. Oh, so much better. Look at that. And it's all still very crisp. A couple of little spots that didn't stamp very well, but that's okay. I like it the way it is now. So we've got our coordinating dies that go with the stamp set. This big piece right here. And you just get it as lined up as possible. Got some easy C tape that I'm gonna use to just hold it in place while I die cut. <gasps> oh, beautiful. Brilliant. I love this. All the pieces just fell right out. I'm gonna put this on an A2 card front, probably just white. 
Oh, that looks so cute. Scoring it at five and a half. Let me grab my bone folder. This is some more Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. And this little guy is gonna go right here. You know what is bugging me? I shouldn't have colored those all the way to the edge. See how that's showing? That kind of bugs me, but that's okay. I will get over it. In fact, I might be able to use a white gel pen later when the card is finished to uh, just kind of clear that up. Okay. I'm gonna try the new Simus the Stamp Dot Runner adhesive. We'll see. I'm just gonna put a bunch of adhesive all on the back. And directly onto the card. I'm putting it centered, but a little bit up from center, pressing the blue <laughs> to get that to adhere. Perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna put the adhesive just right over the middle there. And then I can wiggle it around. In fact, I think I want it just skewed a little bit. It's not straight. And then this one's gonna go right there. So I need it mostly in this top corner. Kind of wiggle that around. And then this one, just put a little glue on the back. Oh, I love that. Thank you guys so much for watching today. This card came together so quickly. <laughs> Uh, about 30 minutes from beginning to end. And so this would be a really great card design to repeat and make a bunch of. You could duplicate them all at the same time. It'd be really great. So thank you so much for watching. I will be back next week. Um, just so you guys know, there will not be a live video on Friday. Um, I'm going to have a pre-recorded video for you instead. So thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.